Good evening, Adam here. Today I'm going to run through how to automate follow-ups in Monday.com. Uh, I'll show a real basic way to do it and then a more advanced way to do it, both using automations. I, the, the, essentially the purpose of a, of a follow-up, you know, follow-up is could be used in multiple different contexts. One to be to follow up with someone outside your organization, another to remind yourself what, you know, to follow up, essentially. So I'm going to show you how to basically ping internally to do a follow-up rather than pinging someone outside the organization as to whether or not they've received something. Because I think that's most of the time a cleaner way to do it in case you forget to click the button that you've received it, then you're going to be sending unnecessary pings or emails to somebody outside the organization. So let's do a follow-up automations. And I'll show you what I mean. So our first group is going to be our, let's just say, for the purpose of this demonstration, we're sending an invoice to somebody. Uh, and we want to remind ourselves to follow up in a week if we haven't received it. So this is going to be new requests. And then we're going to have a follow-up group. Or let's call it a sent group because we've sent it out. And then well, our last group will be complete. So I'm going to delete these, make it nice and clean. So essentially what we're going for is we're going to send an invoice, number one, invoice to Bob. We're going to send the, the invoice, and it's going to get the sent column. And then if we haven't received it in a week, we're going to get a reminder to follow up with Bob, where's your invoice? And then once we get it, it's going to go to the complete column. All right. So let me show you how to do this. First off, we need a way to move this request between columns. So we're going to do this pretty simply by changing these labels. And we're going to have a working on it. And then we're going to have a sent. And then we'll have a done. So first off, we need to automate I uh, moving it to the sent column. So to do that, we're going to do when we change the status to sent, then let's move it. Let's move the item to the sent column. So that's easy enough. So if we do that, we're just going to hit sent. And there it goes. Now, here's the more complicated part. We don't want to just have it sent. We want to push a date out a week to remind us uh, to follow up in a week. So to do that, we're actually going to make this more complicated. So let us duplicate. So we're going to have, when it moves to sent, rather than just be moved to sent, we're going to set the date. So you always have to set the date first, and then you can push the date to a date in the future. You can't just pick a future date for whatever reason, but it's just an extra click. It's not a big deal. So you're going to set the date to today, and then you're going to push the date, meaning increase the date, by one week. So now, turn that one off. I'll show you what this does. So now, when you send it, so your invoice goes out to Bob, and then it's now a week from today, June 22nd. So OK, easy enough. So now instead of, now we want to set it up so that when the date comes and it's still here, it's still in the sent column, we want to be notified to follow up. So to do that, we're going to create another automation. And this time we're going to do when date arrives instead of the status changes. So when the date arrives, and I'd recommend setting it for 8 a.m., sometimes there's a little bit of lag right at 9 a.m., which has a tendency to occasionally make automation skip. So when the date arrives, and this is the important part, the uh, status is not done. Or you can just say send, either way. So you can say you either say it's not done or it is sent, then what you're going to do is you're going to notify. 
So notify is what gives you the little arrow inside of Monday, and you can set it to email you as well if you want it to. So we're going to set it to notify oops, myself, and then you can make a custom message. You can just say item name, which is going to be the invoice, is overdue, please follow up with the client vendor. And once you do that, this, I mean, this does it. So now you're going to get a notification to follow up. So this is the way I'd recommend doing it. And then finally, you can do the, the last automation is easy. So this is sort of my favorite automation. When uh, you change it, your item to done, then it gets moved to the done column. Move to complete. And this is sort of tricky. You can actually set the date to today. And the reason I do this, I'll, I'll show you why this is sort of fun. Oops. So date to today. And when the date, so basically this is to clean up your list. So you don't have to audit, you don't have to go through an uh, archive. When the date's today at 8 a.m., then you'll archive. But only when, oops, but only when it's done. So only when it's done. So I know I, I clicked sort of quickly through that. So let me sort of walk through all four again. And I will do it. Um, I'll leave this on the screen for a second to, so you can copy if you'd like. And then I'll show how it's going to work in practice. So let's do another request. So an invoice to Susan, when you send it, it's going to get moved to the sent column. It's going to send out a week. When it gets to June 22nd at 8 a.m., it's going to give you a notification that will show up in this notifications bar. When you click on done, it's going to move to the complete column. And it's going to change it to today's date. And then it'll archive. Well, actually, I have to modify this slightly. <laughs> So it's already past 8 a.m. So we're going to change this to oh, wrong one. When one day after. So now tomorrow it'll just it'll archive. So that's how to do a real basic automation. Uh, it's a, a follow up automation. You can do a more complicated follow up automation, which I'm not sure that people want me to go into. It's already an eight minute video, but I'll give a real basic breakdown. So you could actually have it automatically email the person. So let's just say Susan's email address is susan at gmail.com. Let's move it back up here. So her email address is susan at gmail.com. You can create another automation where I, let's see. So when the date arrives at 8 a.m. and only when it's in the sent column, then you can email. So you're going to say, please pay, or I guess follow up on, on the invoice, if this is your invoice board. Please remit payment. Thanks. And then you can say, you can basically send it to your text com. So this is going to pull the email address from that text com I just created, and I'm going to send it using my Gmail account. So now this is automatically, if it's been a week, hasn't been paid, still in the sent column, it'll send an email saying, please pay. Let me uh, reiterate again, only set it up this way if you are pretty sure that you're not going to forget to move it from sent to complete. Otherwise, poor Susan's getting an extra email for an invoice she's already paid.
So I am more of the preference to, if it's going outside the organization, to not automate that last step. I personally would only automate up until that point I internally, but externally, I think you should have another layer of uh, follow-up I and you know layer of review to make sure that it actually needs to go out because whoever is assigned to this task, if it's me, you know, I should look at my work board. I should see that this is due today, and then I can send the email follow up. I uh, and you can say, you can still save the emails right here if you'd like to, or you can save them somewhere else in your in some CRM software. I uh, you can definitely do that all within this board if you set up a specific client board and uh, pull information from there, but that is way beyond the scope of what we're talking about today. Today we're just talking about follow-ups. So, so I hope this was useful. I know 11-minute video is a bit on the longer end, I, and we went through a couple things that were not exactly follow-ups, uh, or, yeah, not exactly follow-ups, sort of showing how to set up a, a board to allow for follow-ups. Let me know if that was helpful. If you think this was too long, if you just wanted me to just show the dates, show the pings for the notify you know I'm, I'm always looking to improve my content i've haven't been doing this for very long so let me know if this format works if i should make it shorter if you want me to go into more detail i let me know and i'll be happy to try out different things and try to make the these videos the best they can be thanks for watching bye